Welcome back for yours. Our focus remains on the top developing stories that we are tracking very closely. And as of now, in fact, the development uh, that we are tracking is coming from the northeast where a mob stormed and destroyed a makeshift camp of the Assam Rifles in Manipur's Kamchong district over the alleged harassment and restrictions on the transportation of timber. The members of the group that attacked the camp in Hongbi area belong to the Kasom Kulem block of the Naga majority district. Tensions escalated when Assam Rifles Jawan allegedly barred transportation of the timber intended for construction of the houses in the Kasom Kulem. Assam Rifles personnel used tear gas shells and fired into the air to disperse the protesters as per the statement. The mob later destroyed the makeshift camp of the paramilitary force and demanded that they should be removed from the area. No casualty was reported in the meanwhile. While the security forces have conducted extensive search in the area domination operations in the fringe and the vulnerable areas of hill and valley districts in Manipur, resulting in the significant recoveries of explosives and firearms, explosives seized in Tengnopul district, arms and ammunition recovered in Chula Chandpur district. Nibir Deka, my colleague is joining me live on the broadcast. Nibir, very good morning. As in fact, the details that we are picking up as they are coming is that the Manipur security forces have launched a massive search operation. The area domination exercises have also in fact resulted into a huge recovery. Share more details as to what exactly is the background or leading to these developments that we are tracking very closely. Well, a mob on uh, Saturday had stormed and destroyed a makeshift camp of the Assam Rifles in Kamjong. Over alleged, uh, they claimed that they were harassed on the transportation of timber. And uh, the members of the group attacked the camp in Hongbei area, belonged to Kosam Kulong block of the Naga Majority District. However, on the other side, there was routine checking going on regarding the transportation of timber. And we all know that there are also allegations that these uh, timber were uh, smuggled. And as such, these, there are also checking going on. So these are the two versions that we are getting on ground. And further, they uh, escalated, the matter escalated, wherein tear gas shells were used and to disperse the crowd of protesters that are that gathered there. And the uh, mob later allegedly destroyed the makeshift camp of the para force and they demanded that the, the, the para forces to be removed from the area. Fortunately, there has been no casualty as reported in the Mili and Further, we have seen in Manipur, not just in that particular area, but different parts of Manipur, there are extensive search operations going on uh, amid the prevailing situation wherein we have seen uh, violence more than 18 months in the state. And yesterday also we saw in one of those search operations, IEDs have been recovered and two people have also been arrested with arms and ammunition. So that the situation, although it has subsided, we have not seen any major flare ups in the last one month. But these kind of tensions still lingered on ground and that is uh, that is the, what tells you what the nature of uh, the conflict in Manipur has been uh, for them for more than 18 months now back to you well all right in fact uh, now joining me live on the broadcast is Mohammed Ali Shah major defense expert thank you sir for giving me at least your time and now in fact the developments that we are tracking from Manipur as far as uh, the Assam rifles uh, making the area domination in the region where the curfew in the two villages continues to be imposed while the mob dis destroys the temporary structures. How do you view the latest developments that we are tracking right now and the curfew being imposed? What this means exactly as uh, the village continues to even be gripped by the ethnic tensions? Right, Simran, that's a very, very good question. And when we talk about the latest developments, thank you very much. And also, I would like to congratulate the new Chief Secretary of Manipur, Mr. Prashant Kumar Singh, who has newly been appointed. And uh, the outgoing uh, Chief Secretary, Mr. Vineet Joshi, who would be going out for Manipur. The people of Manipur would miss him. Now, coming to the incident that happened now. Uh, Simran, the very fact is we all know that as citizens of our country, we should not take law in our hands. No matter what happens, we should maintain restraint. Even uh, from both sides, even from security forces, which security forces did show restraint, I will not uh, say that. We have to, we cannot uproot uh, security agencies, camps, we cannot do vandalism, mob mentality, irrespective of whether whichever tribe, community, region, religion, wherever in our country, we should not 
indulge in that. We should respect the security forces because the security forces are deployed for their own, for the people, local safety, who are serving away from the families in far-flung areas without getting leave. And it is difficult for them as well now by protesting. Go back, Assam rifles will not help. Why? Because I will tell you why. Because the Jawad deployed on ground are only doing their duty. They have a mandate. They are following that. That will not really help anywhere. Now the fact is, tear gas, was, as Nebidika said, that the situation became aggravated when tear gas were fired. How else does one disperse a crowd? We try with minimal force. We see that the civilians are not armed. We try with minimal force. Also, I mean, from both sides, I mean, from the security point of view, so security forces and the villagers. But now approaching a camp, attacking a camp is not the solution. We have to josh ke saath hosh. That is very, very important. Now when we see, uh, we because it's already, Manipur has been burning since 3rd May 2023. In fact, uh, it's been a, a very, very disturbed time in Manipur. And at that time, we cannot afford to have further tension. Now, when we talk about because the wooden stock of timber was going and the Assam rifles, uh, Jawans, their troops, they tried to stop it. And then a local politician came and he tried to intervene and he said, it's not your job, it is the forest department job. One, I think the security agencies have to be respected because without that, I'm sorry, I mean, it will be very, very difficult to maintain peace and calm. They have to understand the fact that the security, you know, just uh, uh, two days back, I was with the Director General of the Assam Rifle, Lieutenant General Lakira Sahib. Very fine General Officer, in fact, who knows the Northeast part of India back of his hands. What he told me was something very interesting and people will be very intrigued to know, our viewers will be very intrigued to know that they are organizing a series of events where they would be one team Manipur. It will not be a Naga, Kuki or Maite divided, subdivided, no. One team Manipur, which means a Kuki, a Maite and Naga will be shoulder to shoulder together. They will sit together, they will eat together, they will play together. They will be part of one team. That would be team Manipur. That's a very, very good initiative. In fact, table tarif hai, jitni tarif ki jai, utni kam hai. It is something really, very nice. Now, when we have an incident of the locals coming and attacking an Assam Rifles camp, the locals must realize that these Assam Rifles soldiers are there for their safety, for to protect the locals, not to intimidate them. And if you, uh, you one has to cooperate with them, one has to cooperate with everyone and we have to coexist together. When I was there, posted there with the Assam Rifles, I'm talking about way back in 2006, 2007, 2008, around that time. And in 2005, I was with the army and as the ADC to the SPAC, the GOC SPAC Corps. That time, the Assam Rifles was under the Corps, operationally. So that time, also there were issues, but they were all resolved. I mean, here, it and right now, there is Koki Maite tension going on. They are also in a village where, which belonged to a Naga household, they had led Koki tenants and there was an issue about that. So, once... So it, it is highly, it's, it's a time of high tension. A small stone, a small chuck of stone in the water can cause ripples, can also create a tsunami. A small spark can create a big forest fire. We, we saw the forest fire in California and Los Angeles. We, we, we saw that. A small spark. Similarly, a small, a small uh, an assassination led to the world war. 1940, 1918. Major Mohammed Ali Shah, in fact, uh, as you are also giving me the understanding of what you gathered from uh, why the dialogues with the people who have the uh, expertise in that domain, the incident has occurred in the village which is located in the Kamjong, which is a Naga majority district bordering Myanmar. While the situation escalated on Saturday when the Assam Rifles personnel, they intercepted the weakers that were carrying timber, prompting a large crowd to gather in the protest. And these people from the community have rather alleged the harassment from the Assam Rifles. When we are talking about Assam Rifles, it is one of the central forces that were deployed in the various parts of Manipur, which has been in the grip of ethnic violence between Kukis, Metis and left 
over 250 people killed and thousands homeless homeless since uh, may 2023 that is in fact the reality and when coming to this very pertinent issue that has also been one of the latest local issues uh, which we are tracking uh, don't you think and advocate for a, a peace and a uh, pact uh, which has been initiated by the center as far as the security deployment forces is concerned because these activities which the forces do induce rather in fact reflect upon against them only right uh, sir that's a very very uh, wise question that you've asked me see the when we are talking about the kamjong district uh, where a mob on saturday they destroyed the makeshift camp of the assam rifles and uh, the officials in imphal said that the tension had been prevailing for the past 3 days in the kangchup uh, giliang subdivision of kangpokpi after the villagers of naga dominated kongsa khol village and kukizo inhabited uh, leilon uh, waipai village waipai is a very uh, prominent kuki tribe in fact sub tribe i would say they come under, under the kuki umbrella basically so uh, they had engaged in, uh, in, in uh, over territorial dispute that was a separate thing now Yeah. Yes. See, we have already the central government has moved out two battalions from Manipur to Jammu Kashmir. My own battalion uh, from the Assam Rifles, where I had served with, I had the honor of serving with, has been for the last three years been in Jammu Kashmir. It's about time for them to come back. Now they should be coming back. Any type of the northeast part of India. But Assam Rifles is one uh, particular fighting force which knows the terrain back of its hands. They are very good. They have surrendered insurgents. They have surrendered militants also underground. with them they are so good the assam rifles boys i can vouch with conviction they are their booby traps their ambushes their gorilla warfare their tactics is way ahead of what my you know on new years my family had gone to vietnam now the very fact is they send me pictures of booby traps and their gorilla warfare tactics from there as if there's nothing compared to what my boys in the assam rifles did so the very fact is assam rifles we have to have faith in them वो फालतू में बदनाम हो गए हैं एंड पीपल हैव आर लूजिंग फेथ आई मीन द माइट इज स्पेशली हैव लॉस्ट फेथ इन द एथम राइफल्स एंड आई 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 रिग्रेट दैट आई रियली विश वी कुड रियली फाइंड अ वे टू अ सॉल्यूशन टू विन हार्ट्स एंड माइंड्स नाउ बाय मूविंग आउट अ बटालियन इज दैट अ सॉल्यूशन नो दैट्स नॉट द सॉल्यूशन ओनली वी हैव टू टॉक थिंग्स ओवर ओवर अ पीस ऑफ ओवर टेबल वी हैव टू नो व्हाट द मिस गिविंग्स आर व्हाट द मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज we have to talk through dialogue with the only way forward and the uh, people the the troops we have to understand that they are now from all over india it's an all india uh, troop assam rifles it's not just pertaining to one region only and they were so good the assam rifles troops they would patrol without gps without maps they would say sab humko sab pata hai yahan ke bare mein we know it back of the hand so when i would go for patrolling i would keep the naga boys as scouts ahead of the patrol because they would smell they would sense so the very fact is each time when we accuse the security forces that we have to also well, all right that. Uh, on that note in fact i'm running a short on time major mohammad ali shah thank you very much for putting this in perspective and also putting it pers- in perspective very precisely thank you very much now it's